from Microgrid Knowledge, and I'm here at Microgrid 2018. And we took a break to talk to Karen Morgan from Dynamic Energy Networks and Mark Fiesel from Schneider Electric. They're here to talk about energy as a service as it pertains to microgrids. Tell us a little bit about now about your partnership with Thin. Sure, well in short we've been really busy in the last six months. Uh, we continue to see the market accelerating. We, we're getting um, a lot of questions from folks around what this really means. Um, this idea of microgrid resilience, sustainability and cost was already a big building topic and now as people begin thinking about how they can embrace those ideas in new ways, the questions you know, continue to get more sophisticated and they continue to come at us from multiple angles. Um, it really, I think, highlighted to me the importance of establishing world-class partnerships to go solve this together. We're in the market that's accelerating. We've got to be able to answer those questions and build a business that grows. It's extremely important for us to partner up with Dynamic Energy Networks to really set a foundation in which we can help grow this market. You describe Dynamic Energy Networks and this partnership as being in the excuse removal business. That's what right. does that mean? Well, so we bring strategic capital. We're backed by the Carlisle Group. Uh, so it's one of the largest uh, private equity infrastructure investors in uh, historically in energy and transportation and a variety of different markets. So we bring that background of innovative structuring and financing and that combination with Schneider and its technology essentially remove the excuses. Customers are able to make a decision quite easily because we deliver a holistic um, solution. So this makes everything easier for the customer. Yeah, absolutely. If you think about if we were going to build on this hotel 30 years ago, you wouldn't have to call up the utility and ask them, where are you going to site your generator, what kind of generator are you going to go use, and where are you going to get the fuel, and how much is it going to cost, and what kind of transformers are you going to use. Those are technical and financial and regulatory questions that a consumer didn't have to ask. They simply, you know, built, you know, built their building and, and got a service entrance. But in this new world, where we're doing these things behind the meter, um, if you don't begin to address those things and put together partnerships that can really solve that for the customer, you leave those challenges in front of the customer. Wow, am I selecting the right kind of technology? Should I be should I be using my own capital on this? And what, what about regulatory risk? What if you know what if uh, you know for some reason natural gas were not allowed to be used next year? Do I need to study that somehow? What are the taxes, incentives, and other rebates available for me? Those are all things that can get in the way of people putting in distributed energy and microgrid. So we think about that together. We build the right teams to answer those questions and in fact completely take them off the plate of the consumer. That's right. Yeah, and we talk about it in, in, in the form of really what's the art of the possible. Uh, we have a couple of situations right now by way of example where customers come to us and they've explained what it is that they're looking to do and what they'd like to do their aspirations going forward. So it's not just building a solution for today, but it's planning for the future. And taking that capital expenditure off the table and the risk off the table and moving it over to us as equity owners uh, makes it a whole lot easier for them to make those decisions and we couple that with best-in-class technology and they're all different because geography is different, so resources are different, um, what their objectives are change and, 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 and develop over time so in the, in the excuse removal business we're able to really look out you know 20-30 years to see where they want to go and design a plan around.